Puihiko is looking absolutely glorious in that knight's armor. If only he had done it last season, it would have been beautiful. And he would have gotten a secret achievement, but not this time around. <laughs> Good people, it is another fine day in the year of the horizon, and to the hundreds of you watching at home, I say to you, welcome back to Dongon Rampa Hunger Games. It is Friday once again, and it's time. It is a week until Valentine's Day, and I said it's a week until Valentine's Day. There's gotta be something I can do with the singles, with the singles episode. Oh, I need to pull out the secret achievement card while, I, while I'm telling you guys about my story. I was like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do the Friday before Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day, there's gonna be plenty of ships, I'm sure. But today, I gotta, I gotta do something. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I, I thought about it, I kept thinking. And then once I, I thought all the way, once I had my idea, I was, I didn't have an idea yet, but then I was like, oh, an epiphany. That's a light bulb that went off in my head. And I'm gonna throw that over. Okay, I need to stop throwing things across the room. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Don Gone Rampa Blind Date. So what I did, <laughs> It's ridiculous. I randomly selected three gentlemen from every game and three people from, or three gentlemen from, uh, from the anime, and then one gentleman from Ultra Spare Girls. And then I selected three ladies from each of those, uh, installments as well, and one from Ultra Spare Girls. And I was like, now that I have all these random people, I'm gonna randomly pair them up. So, ladies and gentlemen, in every district, we have one one male and one female, and I have set them up on a blind date, and here, <laughs> here is the blind dates that we have come up with today. I didn't bother to change the names, I didn't bother to give them ship names, because I'm gonna leave that to you guys in the comments below. And introducing at the start, we have Makoto and Angie enjoying some time to, uh, alone together. This, uh, this, this fantastic blind date before Valentine's. <laughs> We have Hifumi and Akane. Hmm. Oh yes, I'm sure that will work out. We have Chihiro and we have Seiko. Uh, maybe that might work out, who knows? Nekamaru and Mukuro. Moving along, we have Kazuichi and Kaede. We have Fuyihiko with Kyoko. We have Kaito with Chiaki. We have Ryoma with Mahiru. We have Kibo with Chisa. We have Yuta with Ruruka. We have the Great Gozu with Komaru. We have Kizakura with Sakura, and we have Juzo with Karumi. And those are all of our teams for today. Those are our blind dates. Everyone here is on the blind date, and some of one of them will come out on top. Some of them might even get secret achievements. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a fun one. But tell me, tell me, uh, two things, uh, three things, I guess. First thing. Which of these blind dates do you think would go the best? <laughs> because I had fun thinking about that. Um, which blind date do you think would go the best between all of the blind date pairs that you have seen here today? Uh, which person do you think is going to get first for their blind date team? And uh, which person do you think is going to get sent to the despair dimension? Because after last episode, it's rather refreshing only sending, sending one person to the despair dimension. I'll be completely honest. So, who do you think is going to get first? Who do you think is going to get sent to the despair dimension, and who do you think will be, or which which blind date do you think will go the best? I'll answer those questions too, before I remind you guys, ladies and gentlemen, the OC episode entries are coming in. They're coming in quickly too. So if you have an OC and you want to enter them, or re-enter your OC from last time, be sure to click on the link in the comments. Maybe it'll be in the comments, it'll definitely be in the description. And make sure to check out, or if it's not in either of those places, and I just completely whiffed and forgot to put them in both of those places, you can yell at me in the comments. Or, you can do something better, and instead of yelling, you can click on the community tab because it's surely there still. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I had to say for that. Gotta look at all these secret achievements real quick. That's, that's something that that's, Oh, that's, that could definitely happen, let me tell you what. Oh, that's... that... Mom, I'm telling you, that might happen too. And, oh no! It might happen too! A couple things might happen. We have a couple secret achievements, a couple, a handful of secret achievements that could happen during this episode, but will they happen? I don't know. We've already had one secret achievement, but you know, we're moving real slow with the secret achievements this time. I look through everyone, <coughs> and for me, 
I feel like Kaito and Chiaki. Or... I feel like Kaito and Chiaki is the clear winner of who would work out the best. Right? 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 I think so. I feel like Nakamaru and Mukuro could, like, get themselves together. I don't know. I'm gonna- I'm still gonna say Kaito and Chiaki would probably work the best together out of these randomized blind dates. If I'm picking first place, I think it's gotta be Mahiru Day. It is Mahiru Day, she's coming out on top on this one. In terms of who I think is gonna get last, I, I hate to pick this one because I'd hate to jinx somebody again, but I think... Yuta can still get banned to the Despair Dimension. He would still be safe for the tag team finale, but he would be banned for the rest of the season until that point. So I'm gonna pick Yuta. For the sake of everyone, <laughs> Yuta gets banned <laughs> this episode. So ladies and gentlemen, those are my picks. Hopefully your picks do well. I gotta bring up these secret achievements real quick. Look at them real close. Yes, I don't know why I looked at them this close, because I can't see them when they're this close and there's a light shining right through the paper. But regardless of that, we have to go ahead. We have to proceed. It is time to start this one in this year of the horizon. Let's see what lies beyond the horizon. Who will be heading to the tag team finale. I'm sorry, the singles finale. This is a single episode, even though it's like teams really right here. Let's go ahead, let's start right around. Start round run. Start round one. I can talk, I promise. As we start it all off, there are no tributes, there are no podiums, but I do believe there are horns. So if you would please do me a solid, the most solid of solids, and sound the horn! At the start of it all, Seiko twiddles her thumbs, Chisa just wants to be helpful, Kiba wants it to be over already, and Juzo attempts to kill Mukuro, but Nekamaru, knowing that he is the gentleman that he is, intervenes just in time. Nekamaru had to kill Juzo to protect Mukuro's life, and unfortunately that means Juzo, I'm sorry my boy, but you are getting sent to the despair dimension. He's gone. He's out of here. Rest, well, I guess, yeah, still rest in peace to you, Juzo, but you were in the despair dimension. That thing is slowly building up. Slowly building up. No, it's quickly building up, let's be completely honest. Hifumi doesn't understand what's happening. Nekamaro sizes his muscles. Kyoko stops quietly. Akane spots something shiny in the distance. Karumi is looking for an easy out. Ryoma mopes around uselessly. Chiaki somehow finds a bunch of tactical gear and equips it. It provides optimal protection for the whole body without sacrificing flexibility. Kizakura gets mauled by wild animals. Rest in peace to Kizakura. Uh, Makoto stares into the distance. Mahiru does something really cute. While Makoto stares into the distance, Ruruka attacks him from behind and murders him. You gotta pay more attention than that, Makoto. Kazuichi tries to get others to notice him. Anji hums a song to himself. The Great Gozu tries to kill Nekamaru, but Nekamaru retaliates and kills him instead. It's like the Great Gozu was like, that's my tag team partner. I must avenge him. And Nekamaru's like, nope. <laughs> Chihiro asks Seiko if she's found anything useful. Maybe, maybe she has, maybe she hasn't. Mukuro is only looking out for herself. Yuta can't take his eyes off of Haruka. Uh, Kaede tries to kill Chiaki, but Chiaki's combat gear diverts the blow. Good on you, Chiaki, you survive. And Komaru starts sobbing uncontrollably. Fuihiko is donning that knight's armor, and it gleams with a dazzling shine. Kaito thanks Chiaki for being there for him. That's, that sounds about right. Sakura feels strong enough to handle anything, but you know who wasn't strong enough to handle death? These four competitors, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Juzo. Kizakura. Makoto. The Great Gozu. All right, four pe in fact, the three people, the three males <laughs> from Danganronpa 3 all got out on the first day. Huh. I guess Danganronpa 3 blind dates did not work out too well. They don't like those three gentlemen. But, that's, that's, that's the past. We gotta head to the future. It is future time as we go ahead and we get a winner for this singles episode. We'll click next round. It's time to proceed. As Kazuichi hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone, Komaru does something really cute, Hifumi admires Akane's muscles. Look at that, that's cute, that's cute. Karumi 
looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Yuta just wants to be helpful. Chisa finds a dapper suit and puts it on. Akane tries to kill Fuyuhiko, but Fuyuhiko's knight armor diverts the blow. Fuyuhiko also sets down a trap. Seiko finds a lovely bikini and puts it on. Nakamaru gets caught in one of Fuyuhiko's traps. What a stupid mistake. He should have known better. Now all he can do is hope to be freed. Ruka can't wait to kill again. Kaito and Chiaki's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. Kyoko looks around for stuff to scrounge. Angie somehow remembers how much she misses Makoto and sobs quietly. Sakura hums a song to herself. Ryoma feels sorry for Nakamaru and frees him from the trap. My Hiru seems to find Ryoma's presence soothing. Chiaki is looking downright tactical in that combat gear. Uh, let's see. Mukuro is determined to survive this. Kaede wants this to be over already. Kibo disappears for a while and comes back with a wizard robe that he just found. He slips it on, scattering sparkles everywhere. It's magic and technology meeting toe-to-toe -to -toe in the perfect being, Wizard Kibo. Chihiro is cooking up a genius idea. We'll proceed. Yeah, we'll proceed. Nobody died today. We can just keep going because at the start of round three, Chis is only looking out for herself. Seiko looks like she's on the verge of snapping. Chiaki doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Mahiro is being adorable as always. Hifumi fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Kibo is looking magical today. <laughs> Kaede can't take her eyes off of Kazuichi, and Kazuichi tries to get other people to notice him as well. Chihiro doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Chiaki. They were tag team partners last season. But apparently that doesn't hold true for this season. It's true, they are going different teams this season. Yuta still can't believe that Ruka has killed somebody. Believe it, sir. Fuihiko is looking absolutely glorious in that knight's armor. If only he had done it last season, it would have been beautiful. And he would have gotten a secret achievement. But not this time around. Akane trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking her neck. Kaito spots something shiny in the distance. Ruka attempts to kill Mukuro, but Nakamaru intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Nakamaru dies in the attempt. What a true gentleman. Mukuro win it for him. Win it for him. Win it for him, Mukuro. You can do it. Ryoma mopes around uselessly. Kyoko just wants to be helpful. Mukuro tries to kill Fuyiko, but Fuyiko's night armor diverts the blow. It is truly starting to do some work. Sakura sizes her muscles. Komaru somehow finds a suit full of medieval armor and puts it on. It gleams with a dazzling shine. She is back to being the knight of the voice. It's your girl, Knight Komaru. Kurumi is looking out, or looking for an easy out, and Angie tries to kill Kibo, but his wizard rope has carried him away to safety already. We lost three more folks. 19 remains. Seven are gone, but can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Chiaki. Akane. Nakamaru. 19 people remain. Who? Who will come out on top? I haven't the slightest idea. But ladies and gentlemen, we have to click next round to see who it's gonna be. Nine more people until you guys get your saving grace pick, but one more click until the next round, because at the start of it all. Kyoko wonders about the future. Kaito looks around for stuff to scrounge. Mahiru does something really cute. Chihiro is thinking of plans to get out of here. Ruka finds some leather scraps, just enough to patch together some rudimentary clothing. And she is now a cave woman, Ruka. Komaru wants to end things once for all with Kaede. Kaede kills Komaru. Komaru bites the dust. Yuta can't take his eyes off of Ruka. Angie tries to kill Chisa, but retaliation time, Chisa kills Angie instead. Fuyiko attacks Hifumi from behind and slaughters him. Chisa thanks Kibo for being there for her. Akane is dead. Kazuichi hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Kibo wishes he could go home. Karumi looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Seiko is very proud of that bikini. Sakura sizes her muscles. Ryoma thinks of a dark, dark poem. And Mukuro is determined to survive this. But determination is lost for three lost souls. We lost three more in this round. Sixteen remain. Ten are dead. Six more until your saving grace picks. Because. A clear day loom. Komaru, Angie, Hifumi. Six team people remain. Six more until your saving grace pick. One more click until the next round. Who will perish? Who will make it to the top ten? I don't know. Never do. But I love to find out when I click next round. And at the start of it all, Kyoko finds a lovely bikini and puts it on. It is quite revealing. Kibo and Chisa's fingers touch by action. They both blush a little bit. Kaito remembers Chiaki and sobs quietly. I miss her too. Seiko attacks Mahiru in front of Ryoma. Ryoma rushes to help, but it's already too late. Ryoma, no. Ryoma, it's okay. Mukuro seems unshaken by any of this. I believe that. Fuyiko feels like Kyoko is slowing him down. Fuyiko has murdered his partner. <laughs> that 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 team work that that blind date did not go as well as uh, as, as, as 
as well as RNG dictated. <laughs> Chihiro attempts to kill Ruruka, but Yuta intervenes just in time. Yuta had to kill Chihiro to protect Ruruka's life. Chisa is very proud of her dad pursuit. Karumi stares into the distance. Ruruka is wearing leather scraps and it's a sight to behold. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaede tries to kill Fuyuhiko, but Fuyuhiko's knight's armor diverts the blow of G's for the third time in a row. That knight's armor is... I'm sorry, for the third time in a row? Yeah, I hear that. You hear it too? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a secret achievement. The first person to survive three or more attacks using knight's armor, combat gear, or anything of the light, wizard robe, etc. It's your boy, Fuihiko, comes out on top. He knew how to dodge everything, and he is now on the bracket. Another secret achievement down. We have, what, ten more to go now? But Ryoma has a blank expression and seems unresponsive to what's going on. He just lost his Mahiru. Yuta somehow finds a bunch of tactical combat gear and equips it. It provides optimal protection for the whole body without sacrificing flexibility. Now I feel like Ryoma's so sad. He's probably like, I knew she shouldn't have get involved. Uh, she, she shouldn't have gotten involved with me. Everyone who he loves just ends up dying. He's got a long ways to go. Kazuichi doesn't care, uh, doesn't care much for this place, and Sakura feels strong enough to handle anything. We lost three folks, three more, until your saving grace pick. It is exactly the halfway point. As we say, it is time for a Claire de Lune 4. Mahiru. Kyoko. Chihiro. And we'll take a quick peek, just, just real quick, just real quick, just a quick, 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 quick. Actually, let me go and check this, this secret achievement off real quick before I, before I like, give it to someone else, too. Uh, Team Owl, Juzo and Kurumi still has Kurumi. Mukuro tries to hold on strong for your for your boy, Nekamaru. Both Kazuichi and Kaede are working very well together, actually. Hifumi and Akane, dead. <laughs> Great Gozu and Komaru, dead. Uh, Kibo and Chisa, both still alive. I look at those two. Makoto and Eiji, dead. Chihiro, dead, but Seiko still remains in memory. In memoranda. Uh, Fuihiko has killed Kyoko. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> but his knight's armor might get them the win, so who knows. Uh, Sakura, still alive, but Kizakura had died by accident. Yuta and Ruka still working together very well, actually. Uh, Kaito still remains, trying to hold on strong for Chiaki. And Ryoma holds on for Mahiru. 13 people, three more until you're saving Grace Pig. Let's click next round, let's do it. At the start of it all, Kazuichi gets mauled by wild animals. Come on, my boy, do better. I need you to do better. Chisa watches the blood off of her dad pursuit. Ryoma sits there with a blank stare. Kibo is ready to defend his friends. Sakura has a horrible feeling in her chest. Mukuro tries to kill Kibo, uh, but his wizard robe carries him away to safety. Kaito spots something shiny in the distance. Yuta feels horrible for what he did. Seiko has something inside of her snap, and she is now frenzied. Uh, Ruruka seems unshaken by any of this. Kaede does something really cute. Fuihiko is on a roll today and attacks Chisa and Kibo from behind, slaughtering them both. So much for that blind date. They were blindsided. Kurumi is looking for an easy out still. We lost three more people, which means after this Claire de Lune, it'll be time for... Kazuichi. Chisa. Kibo. Your saving grace picks. And as we go to details, Yuta and Ruruka both remain. Sakura holding out strong. Mukuro is also here for you today. Seiko trying to get her very first win. So is Kaito as he is still remaining. Fuyiko has gotten a handful of kills almost. One more and he's got a whole handful actually. Ryoma also remains today. And Kaede holds strong as well as Kurumi. That's your top 10. 10 folks are remaining. That's your top 10, go into the comments, go ahead and edit your comment, go ahead and reply to your comment, do whatever you have to to make your saving grace pick known, because I'm gonna make mine known right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaede is coming for that title. She is coming for a bouquet, for a bouquet, <laughs> for a bouquet championship. Kaede is coming out on top. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is Kaede's day. It is Kaede. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaede is my saving grace pick, and I, I have her winning the whole thing. I didn't ask you guys for your ride or dies this season. That's something I meant to do. In the comments, because I'm late, and we are, what, four episodes in already? Jeez Louise. 
Tell me. <clears throat> who is your ride or die for the rest of the season? Tell me now. Put that in the comments as well. Put in your saving grace picks, but also call your ride or dies if you haven't called them already. Kaede is mine. She's my ride or die this season. I have her going all the way. I have her winning the championship. It is Kaede. It will be Kaede Day. Every day will be Kaede Day. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my saving grace pick. Hopefully you have said everything that you need to say in the comments because it is time to proceed. It has been a hot minute because it is time to hit that samurai woman. Fantastic. And we can start it all off. 16 are dead, 10 remain. It is almost time for a winner because at the start of it all, round 7, Kipo is dead. Sakura somehow finds a bunch of tactical combat gear and equips it. It provides optimal protection for the whole body without sacrificing flexibility. Kaito sobs quietly. Karumi has a horrible feeling in her gut. Ruruka tries to kill Sakura, but Sakura's combat gear diverts the blow. Kaede doesn't really want to, but she finds herself having to get rid of Ryoma. Mukuro sets down a trap. Seiko's frenzy finally dies down. Yuta is looking downright tactical in that combat gear, and Fuihiko is ready to cleave some invaders in his knight's armor. We lost one person. Mur uh, sorry. Mahiru's other half today. Can we get a Claire de Lune for? Ryoma. Which means nine people remain, ladies and gentlemen. I we don't really have to click on details. You just gotta take a gotta take a quick peek right now. And then, so let's see. Uh, nothing. Nothing has changed here. <laughs> we've only lost. We've lost one other person. I sometimes just like to see which outfits are actually uh, in play. But we'll go ahead. We lost Ryoma. It's a sad time. But we can go ahead and click next round. At the start of it all, Kaede gets caught in one of Mukuro's traps, and now all she can do is hope to be freed. Hope goes strong with her because Yuta feels sorry for Kaede and frees her from that trap while Kurumi still looks for someone dumb enough to believe her as probably Yuta. <laughs> Seiko can't wait to kill again, oh my goodness. Mukuro tries to kill Yuta but Yuta retaliates and kills her instead as Kaito gets mauled by wild animals. Ruka wearing leather scraps is a sight to behold. Fuyiko's determined to survive this and Sakura finds a slingshot how quaint might be useful in a pinch. We lost another two. Your final seven are left but can we get a Claire de Lune four? Mukuro, Kaito, which means we have Sakura, which means we have Fuihiko, which means we have Ruruka, which means we have Yuta, which means we have Seiko, which means we have Kaye Day, and we have Karumi as your final seven participants. In terms of people who have never won before, it is Ruruka and it is Seiko. Everyone else has taken a big win before. Five people could get a repeat win. Two people could get some justice. Seiko, I'm looking at you. Ruka, I'm looking at you. But what I'm looking at most and uh, most foremost is this next round button. Because we got to click it to see who actually gets this win. As we click it, it will not be Ruruka because Kaye Day, Asylum Akamatsu, duels it out with Ruruka and she bites the dust. No candy will save her from that fate. Fuyiko finds a rocket launcher. That's gonna end well. Yuta finds a pitchfork, which he figures is lobbing, great for lobbing at enemies. Karumi hums a song to herself. Sakura gathers ammo for her slingshot, and Seiko looks like she's on the verge of snapping again. We lost one person. It is the confectioner couple's other half. It is Izayoi's other half. Can we get a Claire de Lune real quick for? Ruruka. Which means six people remain. Is it Seiko? Is it Sakura? Is it Karumi? Is it Yuta? Is it Fuyihiko? Or is it Asylum Akamatsu? Your final six. We have to proceed. We have to click next round to see who wins this one as we start it off all out. As we start it all off, Seiko finds some leather scraps just enough to patch together some rudimentary clothing and looks rather cave. Man, like, that is her second outfit in a single game. What is she doing? You can't decide between bikini and caveman. You could mix and match them up. Caveman show a lot of skin. As to like, Seiko, look at this. Look at this, Seiko. Look at this. You are the only person here with two, two outfits. What are you doing? Other people have all sorts of weapons, but you're the only person here with two outfits. Seiko, who does that? Who does that, Seiko? Not a single person does that. I can't believe you. Cut. What? No, you ain't see what? What, really? You guys hear that music. Ladies and gentlemen, Seiko just got herself a secret achievement. First to dawn, two outfits in a single game. Seiko takes that secret achievement spot. Congratulations to her. I am glad that that one got out so quick because I was like furiously keeping a list in my brain. And I was like, 
Sakura hasn't had two. That's why you, you guys caught me. Some of you guys probably caught me like, why is he even checking right now? I thought Sakura might have had a second one, but I was like, I don't think Sakura's on my list yet. So I put her in my brain list, my brain, my mind list. Congratulations, Seiko. You are on, you are on your way to the finale. Your very first finale, your very first yeah, your very first singles finale. Good on you, Seiko. I'm proud of you. That's Band-Aid right there. Band-Aid represent. You don't even need to win right now. But if you do, hey, that's a fan vote. Kaede wishes he could go home. Karumi is looking for an easy out. Yuta wonders how far he could toss that pitchfork. Sakura sizes her muscles. And Fuyiko loves the way his rocket launcher feels on his shoulder. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready for the next round. Because we didn't lose anybody then. But we will lose somebody. No, I don't think we will lose anybody now, actually. As Yuta looks around for stuff to scrounge. Seiko is very proud of her bikini and her, uh, and her um, caveman gear. Because it got her a, a spot in the finale. Fuyiko steps down a trap. And Karumi gets caught in that trap. And now all she can do is be free. Sakura recalls something about Kizakura and sobs quietly. Kibo is dead, so is the Great Gozu, so is Shisa. As Kaede tries to kill Fuyihiko, his knight's armor is still doing work. The same knight's armor that got him into the finale. Congratulations to Fuyihiko, but we'll proceed. It is next round, and Seiko snaps and is now frenzied. No one is safe anymore as Sakura looks menacing in that combat gear. Yuta stares into the distance. Kaede is being adorable as always. Kurumi manages to pull herself out of the trap. That girl. Of course she would. Congratulations, Kurumi. You pulled yourself out. Ruka is dead. Fuyuka washes the blood off of that knight's armor. And the pile of flesh that used to be the Great Gozu is writhing with maggots. We'll proceed. Two people have died this round. I have jinxed Kaede, of course. Of course it happens. Kaede wants it to be over already, and she doesn't have to wait too much longer. Sakura gathers ammo for her slingshot in a fit of frenzy. Seiko creeps up on Yuta and turns him inside out. You will not be getting that double win, Yuta. Kurumi is looking for an easy out, and Fuihiko fires a rocket at Kaede, who gets absolutely blown to bits. <sighs> My saving brace pick. But we have four people remaining. It is Sakura, Seiko, Fuihiko, and Kurumi. Two people, because of their performance this very episode, could get you guys fan votes. <laughs> you guys might net a fan vote this episode because of their performance. Or it could be Sakura. Or it, or it could be Karumi. I don't know. I really don't know. I think I am going to make it like this because it's kind of difficult to do it the other way. If a... Uh... Before I was thinking, if you're... Um... And I, forget, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the episode. If your tag team partner wins a tag team episode, then they can bring you back. But I feel like if your tag team partner wins any episode, they should be able to bring you out of this weird dimension. I think that's how we're going to ride with that. That makes a little bit more sense to me. Otherwise, it's like a it's like a 1 in 12 shot and your tag team partner, your tag team might not be in every episode, but I think that that makes more sense to me. I think it makes more sense to you guys too. So Sakura could get Gonta out of the despair dimension today. Nobody else has anyone in the Despair Dimension today, so that's all set. So, everyone has a stake in this claim except for Kurumi, so that means Kurumi's gonna win, obviously. <laughs> but can we get a clear day loon for Yuta, Kaede, Seiko and Fuihiko for the fan votes, Kurumi and Sakura for the not fan votes, but Sakura to bring Gonta back into the season. Who's it going to be? One of these four will make their, well, I guess two of them have already made their way into the finale. We have to see what happens next. We have to click next round. Hit that Ace Attorney music because we're going to start it all off at round 14. Kizakura is dead. Sakura sizes her muscles. Karumi has a horrible feeling in her chest. Seiko looks for her next victim. Fuiko is determined to survive this. We'll click next round. Karumi gets lost, wanders off, never to be seen again. The pile of flesh that used to be Juzo decays silently. Kaito's lifeless body festers silently. Sakura reminisces about Kizakura and sobs quietly, but while she's crying, Seiko, in a fit of frenzy, creeps up on Sakura and slaughters her. Gonta's still in the despair dimension, but this does mean that between Seiko and Fuiiko, you guys get a fan vote. It is guaranteed this episode is just who gets this victory. Fuiiko gets a legit victory, or Seiko gets her very first legit victory, making this like the, <laughs> the beginning of this year, the beginning of this season, like the season of Band-Aid, because Mikan won the last episode of the preseason, Abuki won the first episode, and if Seiko catches in the second week, three weeks in a row, Band-Aid takes a victory, that would be absolutely glorious. But ladies and gentlemen, we can't we can't talk about that yet because it hasn't happened. It might not happen, but we have to hit a Claire Day Loon 4. Kurumi. Sakura. And we also have to stay alert 
Seiko could die of a heart attack, Fuyigo could die of something ridiculous in this simulator, and we would go to the person with the most kills who I don't know who it is. I think it also might be Fuyihiko, because he had like a handful of kills earlier. Kaede only got three. Seiko only got three. And Fuyihiko has five, yes. So unless Seiko wins, it is locked on Fuyihiko. Ladies and gentlemen, will it be Seiko? Will it be Fuyihiko? You guys are guaranteed a fan vote either way, but call it in the comments. Seiko, Fuyihiko, Seiko, Fuyihiko, Seiko, Fuyihiko, Seiko's frenzy. I felt it in my soul, her raging fury grasping her chest. Seiko's frenzy grows so overpowering that her heart gives out, which means Claire de Lune for her. Seiko. Your winner, featuring the best blind date of himself and Kyoko, Fuyihiko. Alright, Fuyihiko, you did deserve that one. You got five kills, you had one heck of a game. You might have also, I say that you had the best blind date, but you killed, <laughs> you killed your own blind date partner, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> Maybe you knew what you were doing. Although, now that I think about it, in the first tag team game of season three, you killed Pekka, and she was your tag team partner. You guys never won. Maybe you were like, maybe it'll work this time. I guess it did. <laughs> Congratulations to Buiko, which means now I guess we can bring up the tag, I mean the singles winner bracket. And that means Fuyihiko has netted you guys a fan vote. Congratulations to Fuyihiko. Congratulations to you guys too. Ladies and gentlemen, Fuyihiko had 5 kills, Kaede had 3, so did Seiko, Nekamaru had 2, so did Yuta, so did Ruruka, and everyone else had 1 or 0. In fact, only two other people had 1, Chisa and Chihiro. What a game! We saw some people, I'm sure we saw a little bit of Love Bloom, just a, a smidge, a, a, a little bit. Not really for Fuyihiko and uh, Kyoko, I wish I could say that they had the best blind date, but he killed his, his date, so that's not really a good blind date. Unless that's Fuyiko's thing, in which I case I'm I'm not gonna I'm, that's probably bad. You should probably get a new thing, Fuyiko. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that is this episode. Next week is Valentine's Day, so it's gonna be plenty of lovey-dovey randomness that's going on in those games. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. Congratulations to Fuyiko once again. <sighs> Sorry to Juzo, who's now found himself in the despair dimension, but. It's a fine day in the year of Horizon. We don't know who's going to get brought back from the Despair Dimension. Technically, the Despair Dimension isn't the worst thing. You kind of have, like, a free episode at the end of the season. And it could be it could be a small episode, depending on how many people are in the episode. You might have, like, seven people in that episode, but I doubt it based on what we saw last, what we saw last week. Or not last week, yesterday. Don't think it's going to be a small episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next week with more Rafa Hunger Games action. Lots of lovey-dovey stuff. Some of your favorite ships will be in action. But until then, I say to you all, stay classy and toodaloo. Flight crew.